guys it's me jazz and welcome or welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be all about mercury retrogrades and i'm putting out this video strategically at this time because currently we have just entered our second mercury retrograde of the year this mercury retrograde goes from may 29th to june 22nd and it is in the sign of gemini so mercury retrograde is in gemini right now and we are currently in the sun sign of gemini right now so there's a lot of gemini energy going on shout out to the gemini's happy birthday to you guys be sure to check out my website planetary placements and i also have an etsy version of my website now where you can find all types of cool astrology merch i have it so that you can click on your sign and there's a whole collection for you when you want to rep your sign so shout out to the gemini's it is only fitting so just a little quick facts about mercury retrogrades mercury retrogrades happen three sometimes four times a year and for each period it lasts about three weeks so technically we are in mercury retrograde 18 percent of the year so they happen frequently mercury is the most frequent planet to go retrograde so when a planet is retrograde all that means is that it appears to be moving backwards so the energy that the planet emits is kind of wonky and things can be a little bit just not right not in alignment literally but technically the planets are not moving backwards it's just the way that our orbit is with all these different planets that orbit the Sun sometimes during some periods of our rotation they're a little bit more oblong or whatever it's not a perfect circle like people think it is so sometimes we appear to be moving faster than a planet and that planet looks like it's moving backwards so the best way to explain this is basically think about when you are on the highway and let's say it's a two-lane highway so this is us earth hello and then this is mercury so we're all going around the sun right and usually we're pretty much in sync, you know, but we reach our point in rotation where we start going just a little bit faster than them. So now we're like this, then we go like this, and this planet, Mercury, this car is still moving the same pace per se, but we appear to be moving a little bit faster, so it looks like they're actually going backwards, but really we're just going faster if that makes sense <laughs> but what does this mean for you another interesting thing about this particular mercury retrograde is that mercury is the home planet of gemini so it is at its peak so this mercury retrograde is very very intense and it's in its home sign the sign is also in alignment with the sun sign it's just a lot it's a lot of energy right now having to do with duality and all things gemini which also happen to be all things mercury so first things first, Mercury is the sign of communication. Mercury rules how we communicate and it also rules communication devices and channels. When Mercury is retrograde, its energies are not, you know, going at its peak performance. So basically you may have a lot of miscommunications, misunderstandings with people when it comes to how you communicate with others. Devices may randomly shut off, shut down, uh, beware of accidentally sent messages and emails. Different companies may have large or small system outages. You may see a lot of down for maintenance type of things going on on the internet during Mercury retrogrades. Within us, in our own energy, Mercury rules communication. So within us, that brings a lot of confusion during this time. So you may feel confused, like, I don't know if I want this, or I don't know if I want that, and just really up in the air type of feelings. Mercury retrogrades also bring up collective feelings of reconsideration. So that's why you may see a lot of different memes or hear people talking about their exes coming back, exes randomly hitting you up, people from your past coming into your present. So be Aware of X is coming back and what their true intentions are during this time. Mercury also rules speaking, negotiating, buying and selling, formal contracts, documents, travel, and transportation. 
So all of those areas of your life are greatly affected when Mercury is in its sluggish kind of state. So how can you thrive during Mercury retrograde? So it's very important to understand that energy is just energy. It's not necessarily good or bad. So you can use this energy in a more positive way in your life. So instead of reconsidering, try rethinking. Now is a great time to have a journal on hand. Um, I have my journal here, shameless plug from my website. I have been journaling every day, twice a day on different topics. I have a lot of different old plans that I'm currently taking a look at and kind of reworking. Now is a great time to rework and reconstruct old plans that you never saw through or never even started. Now is a great time to look at those past things that were once great ideas to you, but you just never executed. Bring those back up. Instead of hitting up your ex, bring up your old goals and try to see how they can fit now on your path currently. Reorganizing your life in your home is perfect during Mercury retrogrades. Now is the time to clean out your closet, reorganize your bedroom, do that container pantry DIY thing that you've been wanting to do that you've been seeing on Pinterest. Now is the time to reorganize your home and get those things actually done. Also, it is a great time to reflect, to reflect on past thoughts and present thoughts. So that's why I mentioned keeping a journal. If you find yourself really, really affected by Mercury retrogrades, take a step back. It is okay to take a step back. If you feel like everything you're saying to people is getting misunderstood or miscommunicated, you are not obligated to talk to anyone or explain anything to anyone. If you need to take a step back and recollect and, you know, get your thoughts together before you express them during this time, then by all means do that. And lastly, I just want to point out to look at your birth chart. Look at your birth chart and see if when you were born, Mercury was direct or was Mercury retrograde. So like I said earlier, Mercury is retrograde 18% of the year. So it's very likely that you could have been born at a time where Mercury was actually retrograde. So if you were born when Mercury was retrograde, this may be a great time for you. This energy may feel very comfortable. You may feel actually like at home almost and very secure within your thoughts and secure within your ideas. Go ahead and take advantage of it. But I do recommend everyone looking at their birth chart just to see if you were born during a Mercury retrograde. That is all that I have for you guys on Mercury Retrogrades. If you have any other questions about it, leave me down some comments down below. Let me know some crazy Mercury Retrograde story. And yeah, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.